All right, party people. So your speedometer works in your Chevy truck, but your odometer and your trip odometer don't. So there's plenty of videos online on how to take this all apart. A couple of things I want to point out. Uh, when the needle is attached to everything, when it's all together, it just pulls off. I don't know how it correctly goes back together, so I'm not going to quote anything on there. Besides, I think you just self-center it and then plug it on down at the lower portion. So anyways, um, this is the motor that we'll get to in a second. My odometer wasn't working, and typically the gear down in here is broken. I was like, woohoo, yeah, I could just 3D print that. Um, but no, that wasn't the case. Um, what ended up being broken is because of on your odometer section, it's only designed to go one way. So you could advance this um, because it the way it goes through, uh, but that way you can't turn it back. Uh, it just locks up. But the odometer, the trip odometer, will go both ways, and I have it. Uh, it's just died in place and I just, I don't even want to, it doesn't move. Um, but it, so what I ended up doing is the way it works is when you shove this little needle in through here, there's a gear and I just eliminated it cause I don't ever use my trip. I, there's so many apps and everything. There's a Belleville gear, which is just kind of a gear cut at an angle with another cone on the end. The cone shoves this piece over, which moves the whole gear here, which has a set of dogs on the end of it, which you might be able to see up in there. Um, they're, they're just like a castle part, and it engages with the gear, the black gear. So when you pull that over, it disengages from these two black gears because they're driven by this gear. Um, so that disengages from there. So what I did is I just cut the little there's two forks that run into here that turns this on the shaft i just cut those two forks off so this all spins free and eliminated my trip odometer um i guess i could remove these gears off the shaft but then i would have to put a spacer over here and it turns free so we're going to leave it um so that was the cause of my problem um, but because this all locked up and I'm sure it's just cause there's so much monkey motion in there. My truck's been from the Arctic to the desert, a lot of dry environments. Dry is not or kind to plastic at all. It's very hard on it. So I'm sure bits are just falling apart in there. So as long as my odometer works, that's what I care about. So there's this little wheel that runs the two outer black wheels for the odometer and the trip and uh it's ran by a little gear motor here that's this guy and that's where we're going to get to so since my trip broke and that's how i fix that is by cutting the two little dogs off in there to eliminate it uh and i just use a little pair of cutters like this and they're a little tiny short they look like into um like a zip tie but i just use these wire cutters to cut them off these are very handy. If you don't have a set of these, get them. They're uh, close wire cutters. I use them for everything, all kind of multiple sets. Uh, yeah, I digress. Uh, so this gear here turns that larger black gear I was pointing out earlier, and this series set of gears. And at first, I thought about I could dig around and find a, one of my servos, little RC servos, like this and find a set of gears in there but you know and you can already see down in there there's there's a little gear but the right size height all that nah don't work so what uh what happened it was the end of this guy so worried about it falling over um had broke off i don't know if it'll ever focus here uh had broke off here at the end and where all the teeth had broke off and sheared and hurt, it actually looked like little bits of sand down in there. So what I did is I took my handy dandy cutters again, and I pulled after spinning all this and realizing, hmm, if I say, and it's not really the best to spend the output on such a large gear reduction uh, because it is really hard on the gears. Um, but I was spinning it to diagnose a problem, and then if you just reach in there and carefully touch it. It would grab and it worked for a second because the nurse was spinning it between the broken teeth. 
but yeah, it didn't work. So what ended up happening is I cut that off there. I uh, see it focus nicely there. So I cut the end off here, uh, right at the end. And actually what I cut off was this little donut. And it's just like rubber, super duper softy. So I cut that stuff off. And I don't even know where. I'm losing, I'm losing my marbles here. And there happens to be, if I plug this bad boy back onto here, just enough space between that little beige gear below it where things don't lock up. Well, kind of. There seems to be something going on in there. Uh, but it literally likes one direction, so as long as it want, only needs to go in that one direction, we'll be golden. Um, I'm going to confirm that and put this all back together. If you don't know what you're doing, like on some of this, I've... Let's see. Like here, I've marked that little marker because these engage it. So I could either be 180 from here or here. That 180 mark marks where the motor output is. Uh, you saw earlier when I was pointing out, uh, this just unplugs and then the back of the speedometer unplugs here. Uh, and I took this plug all apart, which you don't need to do, but I marked it. If you're not, what I'm getting at is if you're unsure or unfamiliar, mark things. Um, the reason why I marked it and took it apart is because I didn't realize I just clipped on this way. And if you just wiggle it just right, it'll pull off. But I was afraid to break it, and I wasn't sure, so I took the whole plug apart, which I don't recommend. So, anyways, I'm digressing here. I'm going to put this back together and hope I got it figured out right. And my odometer works again, along with my speedometer, and I don't screw anything up. While I'm at it, I'm going to replace some light bulbs, because I got some burnt guys in there. Some guys that have just got too hot. And yeah, likewise, and magnetic parts trays, they are the win. So anyways, you guys have an awesome one. Enjoy yourselves and Chevy on.